So if this article does anything, it would only add credibility to the fact that Jesus actually did perform a miracle of walking on water since we didn't have perspex boxes back in the first century. Yo, this is John McCray of What Do You Mean for crossexamine.org. Historically speaking, Jesus was someone who performed wondrous deeds, or what Christians might call miracles. And this is something that's been attested to by early Christian and non-Christian accounts of Jesus. However, I recently came across an article that explained how some magic tricks are performed, and in the article, they implied that the early believers may have been duped into believing that Jesus walked on water, since his walking on water was probably just a magic trick. The article also said that this was unfortunate for biblical fans before explaining how this magic trick was performed. So let's go ahead and take a look at the article. It says, walking on water is one of those magic tricks that's pretty well known around the world. Its origins come from as far back as the Bible when Jesus supposedly managed the trick himself. Back then, it wasn't considered a magic show staple, but rather a sign that he was the son of God. Hundreds of magicians have tried to follow in the footsteps of Jesus, and some of them have been successful. Unfortunately for biblical fans, there's more to this trick than meets the eye. While it might appear that these magicians are successfully managing to cross a liquid surface as though it were solid, there's actually something hidden in the water. Perspex boxes, which are incredibly hard to see when submerged, are placed where the magician plans to walk. With these in the water, they're easily able to traverse the surface while maintaining the illusion. Not such an impressive trick now, is it? All right, well, the obvious problem for anyone that considers this article to be evidence that Jesus didn't walk on water is the obvious fact that Jesus didn't have the technology that we have today. And even if they did have that technology back then, it doesn't make sense who they were trying to deceive since it was only the disciples that were in the boat. At least Peter, since he attempted to walk on the water, and also the person driving the boat had to be in on it for the simple fact that they had to somehow manage to avoid wrecking into those boxes. Obviously, this objection is a little silly. So if this article does anything, it would only add credibility to the fact that Jesus actually did perform a miracle of walking on water since we didn't have perspex boxes back in the first century. Now, secondly, and maybe most importantly, walking on water isn't really anything compared to Jesus being beaten and tortured to death, then rising from the dead three days later in a new glorified and resurrected body for everyone to see. This is obviously something that doesn't happen naturally, which is why people like Joe Rogan have long stated that the reason why they don't believe that the resurrection could have occurred is for the fact that people don't die and then come back to life three days later. And pair that with the fact that Jesus was no longer a bloody pulp and he convinced onlookers that they too could have a resurrected body like his one day. When taking these points together, it makes sense as to why Christianity exploded into existence almost overnight in a culture that had every predisposition to not believing that Jesus resurrected from the dead. So if the resurrection were also just a first century magic trick, Trick, then I would say that I'd like to see the author of this article try it. But of course, I don't want him to since he would obviously fail. So please don't try it, but feel free to let us know if someone does manage to pull that magic trick off. Now, if you're interested in hearing me talk more about things going on in our culture from a thoughtful Christian perspective, you can check out my YouTube channel called What Do You Meme? And for more exclusive content from myself and other apologists, make sure to subscribe to crossexamine.org down below. All right. See you guys next time.